This video was sponsored by Honey. It's an extension for your browser so you can find the best deals online. So stay tuned till after you know the deal. France, they surrendered. What goofballs, am I right? <laughs> The French get a bad rap when it comes to war. For some reason, France, the country which once controlled all of this, conquered all of this, and actually won a significant majority of the wars they fought in, have the reputation of being cheese-eating surrender monkeys. But even with the jokes, we all know how France got that false reputation of being militarily incompetent and surrendering far too early. World War II. In just the first year of the war, the entire nation of France was invaded by Germany and surrendered in a matter of weeks. A fascist puppet was installed in its place. It wouldn't be until D-Day four years later when France became a free state again. In the decades since, the stereotype began to manifest. So the question remains, what if in some alternate timeline, France didn't actually surrender in World War II? What would have been the fate of their nation if they held on to the bitter end? Alright, so first some context. Not a lot, I promise, just setting the stage. So, it's an alternate 1940. Even though Germany and the Allies were at war since 1939, there hadn't really been combat on the Western Front until there was. Now, I'm not going to go into the exact details for how the Germans were able to defeat the Allies so easily. If you want to learn how much of a disaster this was for the French, then just watch these wonderful videos which explain it far better than I ever could. Here, I'm only going to use one word to sum it all up. Blitzkrieg was something else. The Allies had waited too long to take Germany out and now the Axis had an upper hand. With the state of the French military and the tactics of the Germans, this is not a scenario where France somehow wins the war. In an alternate 1940, the same military maneuvers occur, the Germans push past the defenses, surround the best of the French and British forces, and easily sweep into France. In just over a month, there is practically no military resistance left. It's estimated that by the time France had surrendered in our timeline, 88,000 of their own men were dead. The British lost 70,000. The Germans only lost 20,000. It was just a disaster. Yet, let's assume the French are still resilient and refuse to surrender. What then? Well, not much. It would be the equivalent of an ant defying a boot. France didn't surrender because they thought, well, we tried our best, guess that's it. They didn't really have a military to fight with anymore. Their best men were all captured by the Germans or dead. The writing was on the wall that even if they held out for another month, the end result would still be the same. So if France doesn't surrender, the actual outcome of the war doesn't change. What does change is German retaliation. Just a year earlier, Warsaw had been glassed off the face of the earth. The city practically did not exist anymore. Artillery fire, aerial bombardment, and just plain combat had wiped out at least 80% of the city. Let's say the French government still says they're going to fight. They ignore what happened to Warsaw and just think, yeah, we can do it. So they take whatever forces they have left and attempt to defend the capital city of Paris. There would be no mercy. The cultural and historical sites of the capital would be obliterated by an unending bombardment from the German Blitz. The Louvre, the Eiffel Tower, the Palace of Versailles, Notre Dame, all could have been potentially destroyed by the following battle between whatever meager force the French had left and the German war machine. The invasion still ends with a French surrender. It takes another month for most of the Germans to conquer all of France, since the French refused to surrender. I doubt the Nazis even allow a southern puppet government at all. France is just absorbed for the duration of the war into the Reich itself. The French Navy continues to fight on the seas. Any troops that can escape flee to North Africa or Britain. Yet for the most part, France as a military force is still the same. Defunct. Nazi treatment toward the French is more likely far more hostile than on our timeline. Cultural landmarks are not spared in the fighting. When the Allies invade in the following years to retake France, they would be meted with a destroyed, ruined Paris. Even if the Nazis were defeated, the war takes a far heavier toll on the identity of the French 
leaving a mark forever. Today, Paris might be an entirely different looking city. The centuries-old buildings and cathedrals might only be remembered in old black and white pictures, replaced by a modern skyline of steel buildings, or perhaps rebuilt to resemble the now-destroyed structures, like in Germany. Yet still, some art and culture might not be replaced at all. If the Louvre was bombed, then we wouldn't have the Mona Lisa today. The only reason the Nazis spared Paris was because surrender came in time. Could the French Navy had continued to fight? Sure. But the mindset at the time was that the French people would only suffer more and their culture as a whole. It eventually took 10 million Soviet soldiers to die in a war against Germany to bring down the Reich. Compare that to the Western Front, which saw 1.3 million dead from three countries combined. France was up against an unstoppable force. There are a ton of other things to make fun of the French for. Believe me, surrendering isn't one of them. This is Cody of Alternate History Hub. I think it's time to talk about something sweeter like honey. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I made that joke. So, what is Honey? Honey is a free browser extension that automatically finds the best coupons on the web so you get the cheapest prices on anything you buy. I use it for Amazon. But Cody, you say, how do I install such a glorious thing? Well, paid actor Billy, just go to joinhoney.com slash althistory. Only takes two clicks, which is the highest you can count to, Billy. Long story short, it's something free that can easily save you money. Honey works on sites like GameStop, Best Buy, G2A, eBay, and basically anywhere I want to shop online. Long story short, it's something free that can easily save you money. Just click the link down below to add it to your browser or join honey.com slash alt history. You're welcome. This is Cody of the Alternate History Hub.